Hello, hello, it's Thumplit here. Here's an item on geometry. Given this figure, triangle ADC, B is the midpoint of AC, and uh, some of the side lengths are highlighted over here. Find the length of CD. As usual, pause this video if you'd like to give this item a try. But if you're done, let us dive into the solution. Now, the first solution, we have a lot of side lengths. So we have uh, just CD, which is missing, and we can practically get all the other side lengths. And this prompts us to use Stewart's Theorem. Now, you can click this card above here. This is gonna, if you're not familiar with Stewart's Theorem, you can use try to go, to, you can try to uh, view this video. Now, we can easily assign values, for example, M here equals 17, N here equals 17, and then A would be the entire thing. So the, so a here would be the entire thing, which will equal 34. D here would equal 17, and then you can assign C here, and then B here. So we can use Stewart's theorem to um, simplify this into an equation, and then we can, e we can easily solve for B. But uh, there is another way to solve this item, and it, this might be familiar to, uh, to most, and it is to use the Pythagorean theorem. Now, why the Pythagorean theorem? This figure isn't, I mean, it looks right, but it's not given to be right. But there's something special about this figure, and it is this point B over here. Now, what's so special about point B? Point B is equidistant to points A, D, and C. Look, A, B equals 17, B, C equals 17, and B, D equals 17. Now, B is on A, C, and in fact, it's the midpoint. So... Something's uh, nice about this because, well, what we know about B is that since B is equidistant to A, D, and C, we can easily conclude that B here must be the circumcenter of uh, triangle ADC here. So what's nice about this is that, okay, B is the circumcenter. Now B lies in AC. B is the midpoint of AC. So this is the case where triangle ADC here must be right since, if you can recall, the midpoint of the hypotenuse of a right triangle is in fact the circumcenter. And that is the reason why we can use the Pythagorean theorem. Now let's simplify this figure a bit. Now that we know that triangle ADC is right, it's very simple now. We have AD to be 16, which is one side or one leg of the right triangle. DC is the other leg, which is the leg that we want to find. Let's just make this equal to X for now. And then AC, uh, from the previous slide, they are both 17. So the entire thing, AC, it's going to be 34. And voila, we're, we're just going to use the Pythagorean theorem. 16 squared plus x squared equals 34 squared. 16 squared is 256 uh, plus x squared. Uh, this equals 34 squared. Now 34 times 34, that is, you can work out the math, I think it's 1156. So it's 1156. And solving this equation over here, um, we're, running a little bit, we're, running, we're running out of space a little bit, but uh, you're going to get x is 30. So, well, 30 is in fact the answer. Now, some of you guys may try to do this differently and maybe want to take a look at the ratios and see that, okay, 16 and 34, they have, I mean, if I, if I simplify the ratio, it's going to be 8 and 17. And we have a famous Pythagorean triple of 8, 15, 17. So this 30 over here should correspond to the 15. So... Either way, um, if you're trying to use the ratio or the Pythagorean theorem, we're going to end up that the missing side length of CD is equal to 30. And this will be our final answer. Hopefully you guys learned something new from this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!